All right, people, we're going to try something a little different today. We are going to write an essay, no less than a thousand words, describing to me who you think you are. Think about why you're here. Ponder the error of your ways. I just wanted to get on with the job, but I think in Kevin's view in particular, uh, he preferred to do business that way. Uh, that is the most um, creative uh, reconstruction of a political memory I've ever heard. Um, Julia Gillard marches in and launches a leadership coup. My view was uh, Kevin uh, wasn't in the shape to fight a campaign. Uh, excuse me, fellas, I think we should just run our papers. And the thing that's most painful through it all is just the, um, the active sense of betrayal. No, that's rubbish. But I imagine that's the sort of thing an assassin does say. Look, you guys keep up your talking and Vernon's going to come right in here. What's going on in there? You just bought yourself another Saturday. You through? No. Good. You got one more right there. Betrayal's pretty tough, mate. Another. There is nothing that should lead you to expect bastardry of that magnitude. Julia was my loyal deputy, and I didn't believe she would do that. I never did it either. Have you looked at where political parties have been at this point of the political cycle? We weren't running a government that was functioning the way it should. We're in a better position than Howard, we're in a better position than Keating. These kids, when you get old, they're going to be running the country. Kevin was very fragile in the face of uh, criticism. What's the matter? Are you going to cry? No. Perfectly relaxed. Clearly there's a, a hole uh, that needs to be filled by applause and approval. I haven't seen Julia's university qualifications as a psychoanalyst. You're so conceited. You're so conceited. You know, hard things happen. You can still make choices about how you conduct yourself.